Hello and welcome to Camp Life Bushcraft. Uh, we're going to start knocking up a shelter. Um, I've been walking around these woods for the better part of an hour. Not very good at making decisions. I think we're going to start here. Because Day and still not make a decision, so I'm just going to go for it here and see how it gets on. There's nothing, well, there's lots above me, but there's nothing that looks like it's going to come down. Um, I'm going to do a kind of a lean to shelter, but I'm not going to go from tree to tree with the ridge pole. I'm going to tie the ridge pole up here and then just go down to the ground and sort of dig it in the ground at that end and make a kind of a half an A-frame, like an open, open front one. So I'm going to go down that way. I'm going to put a bed, a raised bed inside, so that I can sit at this end, and then when I lay down, my feet at that end will be, you know, at the small end. And I may even cover some of the front of the small end, so I've got a little nook, little nook for my feet. So I'm going to go looking for a sturdy ridge pole, It's balanced, stiff and tight. I'm going to tie a jam knot to hold it on, which is a bit like a noose, which is tying a, a knot in the end of the cord, tying another knot loosely, and then you take this end, you're going to wrap round what we're tying, push it through. Pull it tight and then we'll wrap and frap and all that business. But let's do this.
Oh dear. attach it to a tree the other side because otherwise it just feels a bit short for me to sit under so yeah we're making it up as we go so it's just balanced on there at the moment Ridgepole's tied. Oh, I got wet. Okay, I bought this camouflage jacket. Um, I'll go stop for some lunch, I think. Because I'm getting hungry. It'd be nice to dry off a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm just going to leave that there for now. I'm just going to test it. I've tied it on twice just to make sure, because that's a heavy bit of wood. Um, so, yeah. yeah. bit wet I, I did actually got some I have actually got some dry tinder in my bag because I was out walking last weekend and I picked up loads of dry gla glass I picked up loads of dry grass and some lichen 
so I might use that. I just need to get some dry wood to burn. And uh, yeah, let's go, let's go. Let's go, man, let's go. Purpose my chair. I'm gonna use it to keep dry wood on. Not that this is dry, this is soaked, but I'm gonna get rid of the outside and find the middle. Chop wood bashes into my camera. My stove to go on. grass I picked up, lichen, lichen, um, and what else was in there? Oh, a little bit of uh, cattail fluff fetched out the lake for me by Muddy Paws, because he had wellies on. Dry off a bit. <laughs> Jenga. Day. 
That's fun. It's fun. I'm having fun. Okay. Let's make some lunch. I'm hungry. I have got love meat and veg sausages. Gluten free. I didn't notice that. Six pork sausages with roasted red pepper, sun-dried tomato, and quinoa. Quinoa! And it's gonna be delicious. I'm getting it. I didn't bring any fat to fry them in, because I'm an idiot. So I'm just gonna tip them in hope for the best. Look at them though, don't they look colourful? Don't they look colourful? Oh, they haven't got a cooking stick either. Let's make one, let's make one quick. vegetables in it. You know you can tell. Touch it on your lip. Still not quite as hot as it could be. We'll open them up. And they are done. Steam coming out the middle. like that. While we prepare the bun. Okay. So I got a bat, some ketchup, and I got some jalapeno cheese. So I reckon toasting the bun is the first step. Da 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 da. 
That was both a film quote and a theme song. Can anyone guess what it was? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, man. The dating game. So let's go. A bit of catch up. Try this monstrosity. Oh my god. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Um. Where's the pink when I need her? Well, it's very windy. Hours. So, carry on and do a little bit more. 
see where it gets me. Mm. Right, let's do it. Okie dokie then. Back to work. <laughs> okay, so this represents the pinnacle of modern engineering. Bridge pole done. First two struts in place. Now we're getting somewhere. Watch it all fall apart. Oh, crack. So, I've got a ridge pole and I've got ribs. That's what they're called, ribs. So I'm going to clear underneath it now. I'm going to clear it backwards so that when I go to throw it on top it's here. dead tree. It's got stuff growing all over it and rabbit poo right up on top of it and that's its root that's its root system sticking out the ground and I think that's been there a while and it's the rabbit's lookout point. Pretty cool. <laughs> oh, I'm tired now. I'm tired now, boss. So I'm hoping they're the two ends of my bed and that I won't need any more because I can't carry any more. I've got two big end bits, I've got two long bits. So I'm going to put them in place, and then it's a case of adding slats. You slats! Getting tired. Banging these in, 
stop these from sliding out and then I'll put cross beams running right the way across hence the name cross beams Okay, so the plan is right, I'm going to lash these two big pieces at this end and I've got a big piece at that end. I'm going to lash them in place and then all the way up in the gap I'm going to put thinner pieces and with any luck I'll get them in right, they'll wedge and they might just stay there of their own accord. Failing that I don't know, we'll make it up as we go. But yeah, it should be alright. I mean, I could sort of lash between them, in and out, in and out, in and out, all the way along, but I don't know if it'll need it if I, if I get it wedged in tight enough. We'll see, we'll see. But that's the plan. Oh, it's not of the day, this is jam knot. Last time, one of them. One of them, like that. So a knot and an open knot. Put your other end round what you're lashing, put it through the knot and pull it tight like a noose. Come around the other way. Oh, I haven't left myself very much rope here. on there. I think that's it for today. I've got half hour to pack up and get my, get my butt out of here. Pick up, pick up the boss, the boss lady. So yeah, it's been, it's been a good day. I've enjoyed myself. Uh, next time I come, I'm going to bring a tarp I think to put over this sort of main bit above my bed and then I'll lay more ribs and things and then I'll cover the back in debris and I'll finish the bed then I wanted to get the bed frame done while I could still get in and out and hammer things and what have you so I'm not going to touch the bed now until I finish the shelter but the bed only needs the slats going across it. So I'm quite happy. I've done the main, I think I've done the main bit of hard work. Um, so yeah, come back next time and I'll try and finish it off. Unless someone takes it all down while I'm gone. But yeah, have a good day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.